Hello and welcome to this video overview of the brand new HMI human machine interface for the Meta C in 2024. When the machine starts up, you'll be presented with this screen. By pressing the screen, you enter the main menu. Now, because this is the first time the machine has started up, you will need to reset the machine, which is by the white flashing button on the control panel. This will be on the right hand side. By pressing this button, we initialize the system. If, this, if the system will not initialize and the button remains flashing, then there will be an external problem with the machine which needs to be addressed. This is the main menu. As you can see, we have the central control interface. We've got the trace on the right. We've got the door up, door down, and the internal lights. And in the center, we've got the start button. Up the top right, we have some small icons which indicate um, sort of various statuses of the machine. So at the top right with the tick, system okay. This is the class four warning. This is the shutter, that is the class four icon, class two, and any errors. If I were to put on the class four block and override the system, you'll see the system changes. So you've got your general warning, You've got your class for, and it's telling you to wear safety glasses. I'll remove this block for now. On the left-hand side here, we've got our menus for the various screens on this HMI. First one being the home screen, which we're already on. Second one being the system status. This displays all the emergency stops. Part counter and timer. Extraction settings. Total mark count, this includes door cycles, and then technical support. So let's enter the system status menu. Here you are presented with all the potential errors that could be, that could arise when using the machine. So this is just the general system uh, health. We've got the machine emergency stop, a door error. So this could be if the door is obstructed when coming down and you're trying to mark. After three seconds, the door will raise if it has not uh, if it is not properly seated on the work bed of the machine, and will raise this error, presenting any further marks. Uh, this over here is the chiller error. So if the chiller, for whatever reason, throws an alarm, this could be uh, a pipe has become disconnected or the chiller has been turned off accidentally. Uh, that error will turn up, and that will stop any process. We've got the external emergency stop, which is on the 10 pin plug on the right hand side of the machine. And we've also got a shutter error. So for instance, if the shutter were to jam on the system and uh, the optical path is open when in class two and the door is up, then the system will go to an emergency stop state. Let me just activate the external emergency stop. As you can see, the external emergency stop icon is illuminated and so is the general system status. I will replace the plug. And I'll attempt to reset the system. As you can see, the emergency stop has been cleared. And once again, we have to reset the system and reinitialize. This is what we did at the start when we turned on the machine. Moving on to the part counter and time menu. We have the general stopwatch, which only counts when a part is being marked. We have a part counter, and we also have a uh, sort of countdown option at the bottom, whereby you can input a number of parts in, and after that number of parts, the system will instruct you that you have reached your, your part limit, uh, which can be useful, say, if you want to mark 100 items, put 100 in, carry on marking 100, and it will stop whenever you reach 100. Next menu you have is the pre and post extraction. So on the left, we have the pre extraction countdown. So whenever you press the start button, this allotted time on the left will count down. And when that time has elapsed, the mark will commence. On the right hand side is the post extraction timer. So for instance, you have a, 
a process which generates lots of toxic gases that are in the work chamber, allowing sufficient time for those gases to be evacuated from that chamber is realized with this post extraction timer counter. Down the bottom we also have the the auto mode which is governed by the HMI and the pre and post timers or we have an always on mode as well. Moving on to our penultimate menu we have the total mark stats and figures. So on the left we have total class 4 marks, right of that we have class 2 marks indicated by the door cycle going down and right of that we also have the total marks which is a culmination of both the class 4 and the class 2. Down the bottom here we also have the service date and lastly the technical support. All the information about the machine so you can find information about what your machine is, the serial number, when it was manufactured and the software versions. If you also want to get in touch with technical support all information is on the bottom there.